A trip to the vet shouldn't be a stressful experience for either you or your dog. However, for some dogs, the unfamiliar sights, sounds, and smells of a veterinary clinic can trigger anxiety and even aggression. This can be a scary situation for everyone involved, but with the right preparation and approach, you can ensure a safer and smoother visit for both you and the veterinary team. Understanding Dog Aggression at the Vet Dog aggression at the vet can stem from a variety of factors, including 1. Fear The vet's office is a place filled with unfamiliar stimuli, strange smells, loud noises, and unknown people. This can be overwhelming for some dogs, leading them to lash out in fear. 2. Past negative experiences If your dog has had a traumatic experience at the vet in the past, such as a painful procedure, they may associate the clinic with negative emotions. 3. Lack of socialization. Dogs who haven't been properly socialized with new people and environments may be more likely to feel threatened in unfamiliar situations like a vet visit. 4. Underlying medical conditions. In some cases, aggression can be a symptom of an underlying medical condition that's causing your dog pain or discomfort. Before the visit, preparation is key. The key to managing dog aggression at the vet lies in proactive preparation. Here's what you can do before your appointment. 1. Communicate openly. When scheduling the appointment, inform the vet's office about your dog's aggression issues. This allows them to take necessary precautions and allocate extra time if needed. 2. Desensitization and counterconditioning. Gradually familiarize your dog with the sights, sounds, and smells associated with the vet clinic. You can play recordings of vet sounds at home, practice handling your dog like a vet might, checking ears, paws, etc., and reward calm behavior with treats. Consider visiting the vet's office outside of appointment hours for short, positive visits. 3. Muzzle Training a well-fitting muzzle can be a valuable safety tool for both your dog and the veterinary staff. Start muzzle training your dog well in advance of the appointment, using positive reinforcement techniques and high-value treats. 4. Exercise your dog. A good pre-visit walk or playtime can help burn off energy and reduce anxiety. 5. Pack smart. Bring your dog's favorite treats, toys, and a comfortable blanket to help them feel calm and secure. During the visit, staying calm and collected. Once you're at the vet's office. 1. Request a quiet area. If possible, ask for a quiet exam room away from other animals. 2. Maintain a calm demeanor. Your dog will pick up on your emotions. Stay calm, speak in a soothing voice, and avoid getting frustrated or tense. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. 3. Let your dog sniff around. Allow your dog some time to sniff around the exam room and get comfortable with the environment. 4. Focus on positive reinforcement. Reward your dog with treats and praise for calm behavior throughout the visit. 5. Advocate for your dog. Don't hesitate to speak up for your dog. If they seem overwhelmed, communicate their stress cues to the vet and ask for breaks if needed. Medication and alternative techniques. In some cases, medication may be necessary to manage your dog's anxiety during vet visits. Discuss this option with your veterinarian. Additionally, alternative techniques like pheromone sprays or calming vests can sometimes help ease anxiety in dogs. If your dog's aggression is severe, consider consulting a professional trainer experienced in behavior modification. They can develop a customized plan to address your dog's specific triggers and help them overcome their fear of the vet. Remember, it's important to be patient with your dog. Desensitization and counter-conditioning take time and consistency. Celebrate small victories and don't get discouraged if setbacks occur. one schedule early morning appointments early mornings are typically quieter at veterinary clinics which can be less stressful for your dog two bring a familiar person if possible 
have a trusted friend or family member accompany you to the vet. Their presence can provide additional support and comfort for your dog. 3. Consider a fear-free certified clinic. Some veterinary clinics are certified by the fear-free program, which focuses on creating a low-stress environment for animals. By following these tips and working with your veterinarian, you can ensure a safer and more positive experience for both you and your dog at the vet. Remember, a calm and well-prepared dog is less likely to display aggression, allowing the vet to provide the best possible care for your furry friend. Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog-related content. See you next time.